Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, earlier this morning I did, uh, well I tried to do a red heart um, Dutch pour bloom type painting. Um, I wanted a heart shape and I wanted it to be red blooms in the centre. Um, the piece I ended up with I'm really happy with but it's not what I intended. So the red and a lot of the colours really sunk. So although it's actually, it's turned out nice, it's turned out really nicely, um, it's not what I wanted at all. So this is attempt number two. Um, I had the idea that it could have been the base that was the problem before because I used Oatrol in the base, but Floatrol, Flood Floatrol in the design colours. So I'm going to scrap the Oatrol. I was only using it just to use it up because I thought it wouldn't make a difference, but I wonder if it if it does. So I'm now going to mix all of my paints with Flood Floatrol. The recipe will be in the description, um, except for the cell, cell activator, which is the Australian Floatrol. Again, the recipe um, of my mixes will be in the, in the video description. Um, so second time lucky. Let me show you the colours. So I'm keeping it really simple this time, um, still using Amsterdam white um, for the base and then these three colours. So Amsterdam um, permanent blue violet, Pebio iridescent gold and Windsor and Newton alizarin in crimson. Um, so they're, excuse the mess of these pots, but these three colours then they're just absolutely gorgeous together this this crimson is a really rich beautiful colour um, and so is the, the violet here so really really happy with this colour choice um, the canvas I'm going to use is here it's a 30 centimetre it's a bit wet at the moment because I just um, splashed the back with water to tighten it 30 centimetre square um, and to get my heart shape what I've done um, is just I folded a two or well, stuck two pieces of paper together cut out a heart half and then opened it up so I've got the, the hopefully the perfect heart shape um, big difference this time is my heart is going to go much closer to the edge so the last heart I did I just had too much negative space so this is going to go closer but I must not let it get to the edge because otherwise if it drains over it will wreck it um, so let's let's see what happens let's get started so to give you an idea of the consistency it's nice and fluid, nice and runny. Um, when I do a little drizzle, it doesn't leave a trace, or if it does, it's just momentary. Um, and the paint just runs straight under the surface of the, of the paint. So nice and fluid. Um, and they're all mixed to the same consistency, the same recipe, except the gold, because it's iridescent, um, iridescent paints tend to be thicker, I've added just a little bit more water with that. So let's put some white down. I'm going to blow this out to get this to cover the canvas. So just bursting the air bubbles there. So let me get my heart. Oh, that blew off the table with my hairdryer. Right, I don't want to put this entire heart down onto on top of this because when I lift it up, it's gonna pull lots and lots of paint. So what I'm just gonna do is cut um, around the edge just to create a thin outline, a thin template. And then if I place that onto my canvas, so it's still exactly the right shape, it's much flimsier now. But when I lift it up again in a minute, it just means um, it lifts less paint with it. So the reason I do this is because I want to check that I've got still the perfect heart shape. Hearts, I think, are su it's such a critical shape. It, it can so easily look wrong. Right, and then what I'm going to do, you might laugh at this, I'm just going to be putting little push pins down, um, the blunt side down, just to mark the edge of this. So I can lift the paper up. 
just means that if as I put my puddles of paint down if the paper is there still it might hit the paper and it might interfere with the paper so this way because I'm just marking the absolute edge the boundary of this heart um, the puddles will not go anywhere near well I say that hopefully won't go anywhere near the push pins And also when I lift the push pins, it might lift a little bit of the paint with it. So I might have to dab it afterwards. But because the paint is so um, fluid, it just levels itself again. So it really isn't a problem. Right. So push pins down and then I'm just going to very carefully lift up this heart. There we go. And get rid of that. And then add just a little bit more paint. Again, where that paint's been lifted up I might dab, dab it a little bit but it should just level itself right so purple red and gold so I want to separate the purple and the red with the gold um, but I'm going to alternate what I put down um, first and last so some of the some of the blooms are going to have um, purple on top some will have purple on the bottom so I'm just going to place these very randomly um, on here to start with, not too close to the push pins. Right, I'm just going to lift my push pins now. And just dab a little bit of paint over where the push pins were. Right, so far so good. So let's get the cell activator. I'm just going to do a little drop right in the centre and then blow that out. I am so happy. This is so much better. This is much, much, much more what I was wanting. Um, I've got some work to do on this, but it hasn't lost its colour. Each bloom is rich and vibrant and it hasn't sunk. Because with my previous one today, by the time I'd got round this half of the heart, 
all of the colour this side where I'd started had just vanished, just completely gone. Um, so, 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 so much happier. And what's really interesting, where the red and the gold is mixing, it's making this really beautiful pinky corally colour. Really pretty. Right, what I want to do now is just try and straighten up the edges slightly. They're going to be irregular and that's what I want, but I want them just slightly um, more uniform and heart shaped. So I'm just going to spend some time just, just uh, tweaking all of this now. I am so happy, it's worked, it's really worked. Right, the last thing I'm going to do um, is just drag in the paint at the edges of the blooms just to make them look a little bit more flower-like. It has worked. I am absolutely over the moon. Look at the vibrant, vibrant colours. Um, they haven't sunk at all, so I think I've cracked it. You have to use, I think, a Flood Flow Troll base with Flood Flow Troll design colours. Maybe there's something different in the, the densities. Obviously, Oa Troll is thicker, but I added more water. I don't know, but I think I've cracked it because this is what I was trying to get. This, these bright, bright colours. Um, right, let me take you in because it's just, oh my goodness, just amazing. I am so happy with this. Um, I spent a long time to start with, can you see, pulling the paint in here and here. But then what I realised is what I can actually do, for example here, excuse my dirty finger, is pull the paint from one flower into the next. And I've done that in all of the little white gaps you can see here. And it just connects all the flowers um, and I think that really pulls it together as a heart. Um, and I've done it very subtly at the edges just to try and smooth off the shape of the heart. If I'm being very critical, my only disappointment is the gold because the gold I think is thinner. Look, you can you, you can see there, it looks like it's spread out more and it's giving it just a slightly different color to the, the piece. So again, I haven't really got my red. I'm going to keep persisting. I want red red blooms. I will keep doing it. Um, and you get a, almost like a slightly greeny colour sometimes where the gold the gold sits. But, um, oh my goodness, I am so, so happy. Um, so, fingers crossed, this doesn't move and this doesn't move because if it goes over, it will be a disaster. Um, I just hope it dries just like this. Fingers crossed. So here it is dry. I'm so happy. It's dried perfectly. Um, there's that lovely gap um, still at the edges uh, on either side. So it hasn't dripped over the edge and at the bottom. Um, I'm just really happy with my heart shape. I'm, I love the way the edges there are irregular, but it is also quite a nice smooth edge all the way around. Um, the details are just amazing. In the center of every bloom, there are these just incredible cells. Um, absolutely beautiful. Let's focus better. Literally in every single bloom, you've got this pink and white or red and white cells. Ah, there's a bit of purple in that one. Um, I love all these little lines in between all the blooms. Look, so all the blooms are connected. Really pleased with that. Um, and they're all very, very distorted, the blooms. So some of them are, are rounder. And my favourite one, or the most squashed one, is this one. Can you see it? It's here, so it's almost like a line, but it just I think it just adds to the fun of the painting. Um, yeah, just so happy. And the colours have kept them, their, their, their um, intensity, their love nice and bright and intense. Um, and if I just tilt this, you'll get, can you see the gold? It's just amazing. So it's in some ways, it looks like in that sort of angle there, it looks like the gold totally takes over. But then if you just angle it, it just disappears. And that's just the iridescence of the gold showing through. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Leave any comments you want to, any thoughts you have. Um, 
yeah thank you so much for watching please um, do subscribe to my channel right take care